Now, you need copies of this both for your journal entries and for your desktop, for your wallpaper. So we're going to save for the web, file, export, help if I put on my glasses, save for web legacy. See the shortcut? Option, Shift, Command, S. Look down at the keyboard. I kind of say it. Shift, Option, Command, and then S. But it's down here. This is what we use. And when you click on that, or use the shortcut, you're going to get a little dialog box, and it's going to come up with a color table, and it's going to be some type of GIF. Now, first of all, first thing I want you to do is click this button so it's full screen. And then I want you to change this to JPEG High. We are going to save out JPEG High the rest of the year. And then the size, we set this already, 2048 by 1152 right? We've done this. So we're going to go ahead and click Save, and we're going to make a wallpaper folder inside Documents. So click on New Folder right here. Call it Wallpaper. Hit Return. And then this JPEG, it, it inherits the name of the file. Now I could call this you know, if it were mine, I'd probably call this DYC, but it's tied to the wallpaper 01. So if you hit the left arrow, and you might say black, you know, for the background. And it helps if I can actually spell. And then hit return. And then you can save other ones and build it out. But we want to change our desktop. So let's come over to the Finder. Then I'm going to hit, you, you hide everything else. It's Option Command H. Finder, hide others. Option Command H. Then we're on the Finder. And we got a bunch of videos here, which shouldn't be here. Um, we're going to change the desktop background. I just right clicked. Change desktop background. Opens up System Preferences. There it is. Then I'm going to get a Finder window. Just click on the Finder opens up a window, and inside my documents is the wallpaper, right there. Now, I can drag that file there, but what I'd rather do is drag this whole folder so the rest of the year, my wallpaper is right here. And everything I make, I can just click on in order to, to activate it, and it's automatically put there. Pretty cool, huh? Throw these away so you can see this without that distraction. Now you have your first custom desktop. I want you to make at least three of the, at least three different ones, not one white, one black, one here, one here. Three completely different ones, minimum. Flex your creative muscles. See what you can come up with. Experiment, crash and burn. Some things will work, some things won't. Give it a shot. Spend the rest of the week doing this. See what happens and have fun.